you guys. Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. All right, so uh, it's the weekend and what's on deck? Well, part three, this is the third weekend of the barbed wire fence project. This is the one where the power line utility company came in and wiped out the uh, power line row, which also wiped out my fence row and exposed my really bad fence. So we demoed the old fence. Uh, we did all the box blade work, cleaned the land up, and we came back, set new posts last weekend. So this weekend we're stringing T-posts. Excuse me, we've already got the T-post in. Uh, this weekend we are actually stringing bar barbed wire. And we're gonna put up six strands. Uh, the goal is hopefully to get all of the wire installed, get all the uh, clips on the wire, and uh, get everything wrapped up, and uh, get out of here by Sunday. So. Uh, Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the subscribe button. It costs absolutely nothing. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, you know, this is just the first stage of this project. We're going to do it in about three different waves. We're going to do a couple of nice entrances to the property as far as pipe, metal pipe, uh, welded, uh, really nice kind of angled entrances so you can get the truck trailer off the road if somebody needs to drive by while you're jacking around trying to get the... Uh, block off the gate, for example. So, hey, enjoy the video. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Okay, guys, well, here it is. It's Saturday and it is 12.15. We've been at it since uh, basically 6 a.m. this morning. And we got six strands of bob wire strung on the east side and also the west side said that backwards but anyway uh up the uh, creek so we have done an incredible job to get that much wire strung that quickly uh the only downside is we didn't get all the clips on we just put a few clips here and there uh just to hold the wires in place i'll come back tonight and uh try to actually get these uh clips all the way down but uh pretty much looking incredible I am uh, very, very pleased on how this is turning out and what that's looking like. So, uh, hey guys, we'll show you some more info later, but uh, you know, it's going to look pretty good when we get everything in place. So you can see through here, it looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. We still got to come back and put uh, staples on these wood posts. We didn't get that, but all of the uh, T poster done. We got them finished. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys just a real neat little trick. If you ever find yourself having to put bob wire up. Bear with me. This right here, guys, is my measuring stick. And what's so nice is when you get ready to set your post in the ground and everything, you come through here and you put lines on the post and you can just set your post up and you know exactly where to put your T-post, or excuse me, your bob wire, your clip. Also, you know how high to set your post based upon the top of that. So, and you know, it's not an exact science, but hey, it's a quick visual aid to make sure everything's in check. So that's what we've been doing. We've been moving along. We got the end piece up down here. We got a temporary cattle panel because, you know, as I mentioned before, we're gonna be doing something on the gate in a future project, but I just needed to get it where the cattle can't get out. So, hey, hope you like what you see. I'm out of here. Well, it's Sunday morning and we're wrapping up the project. So this weekend we strung six strands of bob wire all the way along this 850 feet stretch. And uh, right here's the little creek section that we're in. You know, I kicked around a lot of ideas. So, you know, we got good uh, stretch posts on each side of this creek. You can kind of see the other one down there. So what we did, we put six strands of bob wire, put the T-posts closer together, came in there and added a few cedar stays right in the very middle where the creek is actually the deepest. I may come back and put a small cattle panel across the bottom of that, but it's got to be custom cut to that. So, uh, hey, for the most part, I'm pretty damn pleased. Uh, it's been a long week. The humidity, the heat. This was just a terrible time of year to actually get this project started. But hey, the power line company, 
did us a favor with doing all the mulching. We just had to make everything else happen. So, uh, hey, I hope you like what you see, but uh, we're making progress. Thanks, guys.